Hey everyone, it's Jo. Today we're looking at wikis for learning. So what are the technical aspects? Well, it's an example of Web 2.0, which is Read Write Web, which is very difficult to say. Um, it's really communally owned um, by both users and guests if you have the link and it's uh, been shared publicly. It's user generated content and there are a number of providers like Wikispaces and Google Drive are some examples. And uh, Wiki, Wikipedia would be the best example of what's available and the largest wiki on the planet as we speak. So what can wikis actually do? Well they're a communal, I'm, at, I'm placing them in my head as a communal online collaboration tool and anyone can, with the link, or access to that wiki can edit, erase, amend the content and any visitor can contribute. So it's really a multi-author document that's morphing in real time and that it's equitable because it controls the level of anonymity and it's live, it's growing, morphing, changing, it's a perpetual draft form and the creator who creates a wiki space decides the access that it that he or she grants. It can either be public to anyone on the web, it can be link protected or you can just remain personal. It's similar to blogs in that it's highly visual with lots of thinking and linking and it's multi-layered meaning that you can add lots of different media because um, if it's on the web you can link it to your uh, wiki space and it's accessible to all and it's a fantastic example of summer's lifelong learning. So what is the word origin? Well it's a web application that allows anyone visiting a website to edit content on it and it's from Hawaiian uh, language which uh, wiki wiki which means quick quick which was coined by Ward Cunningham so I love that wiki wiki quick quick I'll always remember that now um, so what is the structure well you get on it you edit it and then you write and then you save and you can actually have multiple pages so it's kind of like a website in that you can actually have multiple pages and uh, you just get in there and change it and it can you can one person can belong to a number of wikis so what is the learning outcome that it supports for a teacher teacher it's basically ditto for blogging um, so if you haven't watched my blogging video you may choose to watch that now but it's fantastic for setting up collaboration and group consensus and I imagine that there may or may not be a need for mediation depending on how people conduct themselves in wiki spaces. For students, I think they'll have fun exploring, investigating and producing a wiki on whatever topic is given to them. They'll have to ask the right questions and decide what they want to contribute and who they want to network and how they want to extend their knowledge. It's learner-centered, instant feedback reward and a great way to build their civic success in deciding what to publish, build their cyber safety knowledge and ability network and research online. So what are some activities? We well, could have a classroom wiki which is basically a photo compilation, um, it could be a communication to design lists and resources, share resources. I would imagine you'd need to establish guidelines and it would be great if the classroom themselves could come up with guidelines of um, what are the rights and responsibilities of belonging to a wiki space and um, really a hub for the classroom. Um, it really supports the group authoring, authoring so it's I think the biggest thing as opposed to email is it helps organize ideas and activities and keep track of projects and individual participation. So how the creation, I would imagine uh, for myself, I would use it if I, in, as a science teacher if I was conducting a virtual field trip uh, for presentations, for writing a wiki book and explore topics like collate information and maybe pass something like a legislative bill. These ideas of creation have come from this smartteaching.org blog, uh, 20 ways to use wikis. Um, for personal application for the teacher, um, students and schools. I've done a plus minus and implications chart so the positives I see you can actually just read them um, but the keys here is real world, lifelong learning, civic responsibility, intellectual trust. I think that's a big thing that's happening with the online collaborative tool. Fun, engaging, self-checking skills, you know, um, interaction, collaboration, social and it's really promoting what I'd imagine, what I'm thinking and terming for myself as we think rather than I think 
think, <laughs> individual thinking processes, and it's about critical thinking. Um, the minuses could be that cannot um, accommodate multiple authors at one instance. Um, it's access for all, so making sure that you set the right privacy levels for your wiki, uh, respecting other people's comments, and what I'm thinking is online graffiti, uh, people, you know, posting inappropriate things if it was public to the world. Uh, posted to the World Wide Web, and but the potential to lose content, particularly with the multiple authors and um, people who don't respect the rights and responsibilities of being part of your wiki. Um, and the other minus, so to, I was just thinking as last night, was that it would, because of the collaboration, it would really need to change your focus as a teacher of the rubric and the outcome and how you assess uh, people's contribution. Implications are if you're worried about multiple authors is use Google Docs, um, make sure you've got the right resources to support this, Pre uh, prepare guidelines of rights and responsibilities of belonging to the wiki, um, learner central and um, multi-layered learning. And through the SAMI lens I could imagine that I'd use these for like a field trip to our local ball and swamp here in, in Bundaberg and at the substitution level I would, uh, students compile a list of resources needed and ideas of what we could investigate on our field trip. Augmentation, you could actually vero, visit the Bureau of Meteorology and um, look at climate patterns. Modification, you could use Google Earth layers uh, to, um, you know, get a real good geographical overview of the area. And redefinition, create a video of the field trip and post it to YouTube to embed in a wikis in the wiki space that you created. Uh, so it's like a, a compendium then of everything involved with that field trip, and just enhances. Okay, that's it. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.